what job sectors in Rhode Island are seeing a higher unemployment rate than others? Are there any that are sticking out? Well, we still have a higher unemployment rate in the accommodation and food services sector. I don't know the rate off the top of my head, but I can tell you that they haven't regained all of their jobs. In fact, construction and manufacturing have regained jobs and that they lost in the pandemic and have added jobs. So they're doing well, but other industries are still hurting. And we all know that hospitality was devastated during the pandemic. And we're trying to do everything we can to help them. And that's exactly why you know, the governor yesterday announced a back to business initiative which is going to help you know, employers get people in the door by offering hiring incentives and referral bonuses, or just offsetting some of those costs that employers had to incur to try to attract new talent. Do you think that that's enough these days, or do you think that some of these jobs are just going to go away, that people just realize that they don't want, you know, that an incentive is fine, but unless that wage consistently stays that way, which is unlikely unless the economy has some huge boom, do you think some of these jobs just have to be restructured entirely? I think the economy was forced to change during the pandemic, and many of those changes are lasting. Will they all last? We don't know right now. But you know, we're on a path in Rhode Island to a $15 minimum wage by 2025. But if you just look around when you're out in the community, you'll see that we're just about there anyway. And so the government is going to require it by 2025. But look at the signs on the side of buildings when you drive down the street. Everybody's starting wages, 13, 14, 15 or more an hour. Um, you know, wages have grown quickly and, and they're probably here to stay for some time because people are competing for talent. That's the problem right now. Over the summer, there were more quits across the country, meaning people quitting their jobs than ever before in the history of that data being collected. At the same time, the unemployment rate came down. So what does that tell you? People are working. They're just choosing where to work. And so employers, you know, should be mindful of what they're offering, what their employment practices are, and are they competitive? And we can help them a little with that. You know, as we provide services to them, we can tell them, you know, we think maybe you're not competitive. Maybe that's one of the issues. But again, I encourage them to go to our website and utilize our services. Um, and I have to ask, because as of a couple of weeks ago, um, when I got numbers from you guys, um, from nurses and CNAs, because that's one of the spots, especially in nursing homes, that they're struggling to hire employees, that 42 registered nurses and 123 CNAs were collecting unemployment despite basically everyone hiring. So how are they meeting the work search requirement? You know, I don't know what their individual circumstances are. And this is a challenge with unemployment. Unemployment is a very big, complicated federal program that's administered by states, which add in their own rules. And so, you know, with those people, I don't know, they may have particular reasons why they can't work right now. Um, they may be eligible and they go through a process. And if the employer feels like that the decision wasn't correct, there's a remedy for them. And they can follow through with an administrative appeal, which doesn't cost them any money. It does take time, unfortunately, uh, but they can do that. And they can bring it to our attention as well. If they think we made a mistake. And workers on the same thing. If a worker is denied unemployment, and we're seeing this right now with some people uh, that have refused to be vaccinated, if they're denied unemployment, then they have the ability to appeal that as well. You know, there's a million reasons why somebody may or may not be eligible for unemployment. Those are fairly low numbers, even though you know we're we're looking for as many healthcare workers as we can. So, but I'm not surprised that there are some that are collecting. So you are still instilling the workforce requirement. You are making sure these people are applying and going on interviews. Oh, absolutely. Everybody that's on unemployment has to be able to work available for work, meaning if they were called, they would go to work, and actively seeking at least three opportunities a week. The only people that aren't are people that have a definite return to work date within 12 weeks, and that's in the law. If they have that definite return to work date, then they don't have to be looking for work. Uh, other than that, they need to be connected with us. 